My name is Crystal Raylis. My background when it comes to Project Homeless Connect is really has to do with my experience with being homeless. Where I come from is that there was actually several times throughout my past where I've actually been homeless and um, those times were really hard on me and I think that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for services like this and if it wasn't for people that actually reach out and help those people that are a little bit more unfortunate. Um, so I'm hoping to bring some of that compassion and that hope to the event today in hopes to help somebody in need. I didn't have necessarily family that helped me out. I had a lot of support from the local community. I had a lot of support from friends, from other people that were willing to reach out and to help me, mentors in the community that really said, I believe in you. And having that one person say, I believe in you, was enough for me to believe in myself. We have this syndrome that's us versus them type of thing and when they get segregated in such a way that they feel like everybody's against them they have problems adapting and readapting to a sociable life or even an acceptable sociable life so what I hope to do is to let them know is that they're not alone that we've been there not just me but there's a lot of Metro students that have been there they've come from that and that we do recognize that they're just humans just like me and you and if we can kind of give them that love and that support I think that's enough for them to be encouraged to take some more initiative on their own. And one of the things that I think is so great about the MSU Denver student body is our diversity and the fact that we can kind of captivate on that to use in this type of situation. I mean, I tell people I'm always going through downtown, putting up my rowdies. Like, I don't know, everybody says CUDU, all these schools, but I am so proud to be an MSU Denver student. Yeah.